So the low rep and non-travel speed training. The main goal is to maintain or increase speed through the season. So obviously, number one, we do want to maintain. We don't want to do, we don't want to lose. That's the number one goal. But your secondary goal here, right, is we have a chance to increase speed if we do it right. Again, the main thing is the main thing, and that's football, especially for the low rep guys. There's a chance they're getting in, so we don't want to burn them for a game or practice because they can get in at any moment. But the guys that aren't really playing, they can increase their speed and put themselves in a better spot. Again, number one, we touched on a sport, right? Get through practice. We'll manufacture it on our own. Training session, more aggressive. Really, in season, it resembles a modified off-season program. The volume might be adjusted, um, but kind of the same drill work and same resisted runs and technique work that we'll use in the off season, we'll use in season. They're able to train three times a week with a sprinting here. So Sunday we'll go short speed, we'll get repeats. Okay, so they're fresh, they haven't done anything, they didn't play a game. So we'll come in and they'll hit repeat sprints. They'll sprint, give a break, you know, come back, hit it again. And these are full speed here. We put the cleats on for them while the vets are, are going through recovery. Uh, these guys are getting after it on the other end of the field. Monday, resistance speed, similar to what we do with the vets, right? Except their training is a little bit more aggressive. So then we'll be a little bit more aggressive here. Now, the volume's a little lower. And I know it's back-to-back -back and it looks like back-to-back -back high days. But what we're talking about here is acceleration. So the two accelerations back-to-back -back isn't going to burn them out, uh, in my opinion. Um, they, should, they should still be fresh because the, resist the resisted sprinting we're doing on Mondays is really in the same position as their cleans and clean pulls. So it's not like it's a lot, but it's enough to give them a little bit more of a stimulus. And then Thursday, speed school. Um, or Thursdays, you guys saw, was a jog through day, is a down day. That's for the high rep guys. The low rep guys and non-travel guys have a chance to not be in all the meetings. They don't have to go to all the meetings, right? Our coaches are pretty cool and they understand that speed's important. So we're able to grab those guys, bring them out, and we have about, 40 minutes to get through a session. So we do a comp, a speed complex. We'll go a technical aspect, a resisted run, a free run, and a plyometric or a throw. Um, and that will be a session. We'll go a couple rounds of that, and that'll be their training session. So a typical training day, right? So we already talked about how we set it up. It looks similar to our off season. So acceleration day, we have prehab and warm up, get the body warm, feeling good, make sure all the joints are moving well, right? A series, told you I love it. Horizontal wall drill, a banded A series. I don't do the horizontal wall drill too much anymore, but I do like the banded A series. Helps with the hips. Um, build ups, we'll start getting them warm. Kind of build, I give them three build ups on this day. Heavy resistance sprint. Again, when I say heavy, as we progress, that moves to lighter and lighter until we're, we're free. Free runs and then plows. I like to match them up. Um, I sold this from Les Spellman. So long ground, ground ground contact time on acceleration days, right? And then short ground contact time on velocity days. So velocity days, our prehab and warm up might be a little bit different because we're getting more upright. So what we do pre and, and get them pre prepared for it is slightly different. Overhead A series, you wanna stay vertical with that. You can use a dowel rod. Um, we've used bands. And obviously the, the number one way to do it would be kind of with a med ball and just a little bit of weight to it. Horizontal drills. Dribble series, I enjoy doing that. We throw those in um, in practice every time. Um, bounds are great, are great. You know, a warm up sprint instead of the build ups. We'll go through the wickets, try to get them down. Our guys are pretty, actually pretty good at them. I was surprised how well we did with them. Um, the loading would be light resisted sprinting. Easiest way to do it would be with chain. You could do it with um, a partner running with them, I guess, with with a band. But chains work best for us. And in the application, we do fly runs on these or in and out sometimes, you know, you can change that up. And then again, plyos, short ground contact time. Here's a quick video of us going through this stuff. Um, you guys can see the skips and bounds. We just kind of have the guys come in during their gear uh, before we go to a practice. So that's why the shorts look a little odd. Um, so they look a little tight on them. But you can see we kind of get going with the speeds. We'll do build ups and then we'll get going three point starts, some banded work. With the bands, I got a couple questions on these. Um, so it's a green band, and then you have a leash band on it. So you'll see a little leash tied through it. Uh, it works out really well for us. Uh, it gives a decent length and um, ability to hold on to it and good resistance. Uh, it's terrible when it snaps, though.
awful. On we we switch it up, so we've gone around the shoulders and around the waist for different just see how uh they work with us. Both are good. Um around the waist would be the one I would do second. Around the chest harness would be first, and then I transition to band around the waist just so they could feel how it goes. Another in season video or in season video is speed school. So a little more jumps here. Um you get creative with your jumps and plyos. What's cool about doing it in season is it is with this group, if there's something that you want to try to do and see if it works, you know, on a small level, I would do it here as well and like just kind of dabble with it. We do throws. Um here we're we're checking out for distance and time in the air. Um kind of both. We went through a combine with these guys. Uh we had Zybex Sports come out and we did a full almost NFL combine with them, which is pretty cool. Um they filmed everything. We got numbers on everyone. It was a good day for us.